Now that we've done the contradictory of a conjunction, the contradictory of a disjunction should be no problem. Dan will either go to law school or become a priest. This is a disjunction. What am I saying when I say that this disjunction is false? The disjunction says that either one or the other or both of these are true. Dan will either go to law school or he'll become a priest or both. If this is false, that means that Dan doesn't do any of these things. He doesn't go to law school and he doesn't become a priest. So the contradictory looks like this. Dan will not go to law school and Dan will not become a priest. The disjunction has become a conjunction with each of the conjuncts negated. This is structurally identical to the rule we saw in the previous video with the or and the and switched. In English, we have a natural construction that is equivalent to this conjunction. Dan will neither go to law school nor become a priest. Not A and not B is the same as neither A nor B. Don't be fooled by the or in nor. This is not a disjunction, it's a conjunction. Let's put the rules for the contradictory of the conjunction and the disjunction side by side so we can appreciate the formal similarity. In propositional logic, these together are known as De Morgan's rules or De Morgan's laws, named after Augustus De Morgan, who formalized these rules in propositional logic in the 19th century. They're also a part of Boolean logic and are used in all the time in computer science and electrical engineering in the design of digital circuits. That's it. These are the rules you need to know to construct the contradictories of conjunctions and disjunctions.